Some of the things that I find most exciting are like the least exciting to most everybody else. I love this machine. We call this party ice because everybody loves this type of ice. We try to approach sustainability in a really holistic way. This is our dehydrator. We use it for a million things. I'm actually surprised it's empty right now. This is so dorky. <laughs>
actually ended up getting these solar powered string lights. And when I purchased them, I was like, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> I was like, these are $25, this isn't gonna work. And they work perfectly. Each strand comes with like its own little like solar panel and we just clipped it to the top of the fence and it's free light. And it's so amazing. <laughs> I just spent like, you know, 10 extra minutes going that extra step. So it's a little crazy back here. We are turning our dining room into a retail space in light of restrictions with the pandemic that we take very seriously. We ripped out the booths and we built these shelves. Kind of a fun opportunity for us to highlight some ingredients that we are excited about, like some grains, beans, corn products from this woman-owned indigenous farm in Arizona. Uh, this is a woman working with small chocolate producers in Haiti. Toilet paper made not from trees, but from plant fibers mouthwash and toothpaste tablets that are refillable so it eliminates plastic. Plates and things made from bamboo, bamboo straws which are reusable. I heard from a chef once that food waste is just lost flavors and lost opportunities to learn. And it's not just about making inferior products just to empty the trash bin. It's about how can we create new flavors and new experiences and these like more magical moments for our guests. This is our dehydrator. So sometimes we don't get through all of our mint in time. You know, Mother Nature is on its own timeline. So all of this can go into the dehydrator. We use our dehydrator so much. If you're trying to really tackle food waste, it's the best tool to buy. Addressing food waste drives a lot of the dishes on our menus. If we're juicing carrots for a cocktail, um, that pulp from the carrots are still full of flavor and we might give those to the kitchen and that might go into the carrot oatmeal, which wasn't an, a dish until we just had this pulp and we're like, okay, what can we collectively do? How can we collaborate between these two departments to utilize this byproduct? When you're using food waste, those are all free things that you're turning into profit at that point. It kind of goes back to how does this affect your bottom line? How does it positively impact not just our planet, but also your, your business? It's a real missed opportunity on multiple levels. Hunky Dory evoked lightness and made you smile a little bit. I think that is a common thread along with sustainability amongst like the food and beverages that we create and the environment we create. A lot of people think of sustainability or climate change as this really dense issue that is only reserved for certain classes or um, certain types of establishments, but I truly believe that anybody can identify as a sustainable person or a sustainable business. It is accessible and obtainable. And yeah, I mean, restaurants and bars are a nickel and dime business on both sides, right? Like every small little upcharge and every coffee that we get at the end of a meal or every second round of drinks, like all those things add up. But it's also a nickel and dime business on the other side, like, you know, every drop of water, every bit of electricity, like those really affect our bottom lines, especially when we run on such small margins. It's not just about being good stewards of the planet, it's good business. When I talk about like the not sexy stuff like water or electricity, those are real tangible ways that we can like save on our bottom line and why this, these initiatives really make a big difference for small businesses and the people that work for them. If we're thinking about like our mission statement here, we're just trying to be better. <laughs>